begin the season of Lent, we admit our mortality by putting ashes on our forehead. We admit our sins with a readiness to do penance. We admit our need for God with a readiness for prayer. We admit our blessings with a readiness to share through almsgiving. All of these are entering into the mystery of the season of Lent. On the first Sunday of Lent, that evening, Sunday, March 13th, and for the next two evenings, Monday and Tuesday, the 14th and 15th, all three evenings at 7 p.m., we're going to have our annual parish mission. This year will be led by Father Martin Kobos, one of our friars who's a pastor up in Pennsylvania. We invite you to join us for that parish mission for those three evenings when we'll have a little time to pause in prayer or reflection, to listen to some talks, to have a chance to really get into the spirit of the Lenten season. Father Martin has a nice style, an easygoing style, which I think people will enjoy. And so it might be something you like to consider as really a way to jumpstart the season of Lent. Then beginning on Wednesday, March 16th, and for those next four Wednesdays, it's really the five middle Wednesdays of Lent, we will join the other churches of the Archdiocese of Baltimore in the program, The Light is On For You. Each of those Wednesday evenings from 7 to 8 p.m., the Sacrament of Reconciliation will be available here in the church. Particularly if you have been away from confession for a while, if you perhaps have some anxiety about coming back to that sacrament, I invite you to use one of these evenings as that opportunity to put the past behind, to stop worrying about those things, to get rid of that anxiety and any guilt that you're carrying around with you. Neither Father Brard nor I, who will be hearing confessions those evenings, are going to be worried about those particulars. We want to help you to be reconciled with God. That's part of what the season is all about. You know, really, the church doesn't ask an awful lot of us during the season of Lent, but invites us to all sorts of possibilities. The more we're able to embrace some of those possibilities, the more we're able to enter in, certainly the more we receive from this holy season. It's a unique 40 days and a chance for us to really move forward with God's grace. And so I invite you to choose something to do. Perhaps a little boldly, don't get carried away, but choose something and try to carry it out with God's grace and with faith. You can certainly find the full schedule of our Lenten activities on our parish website, and we invite you to join with us for all of them, or as many as you would like. This is Father Donald here at St. Clement Church. Thank you for listening, and may you have a blessed and holy season.